going like this and I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy is real. It's gonna come into the boat. I can, I can actually understand that at that age. I'm I can, gonna I die. That. It's Ashley and today we're going to walk you through our quarantine schedule. But before we do, like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to become part of the family. Usually we have a different schedule. We go to the park, we hang out with friends, we have family over, and the kids have play dates. But because of COVID-19, we've had to change our whole routine. Start from scratch make everything unique and fun and exciting. And with that schedule, we use a lot of products that we think will help you guys out. So if you would like to check them out, they will be linked in the description below. And with all that said, let's just get into it. Let's go have breakfast. And while the kids are eating breakfast, Annie needs to get her vitamin um, and I need to take my vitamins as well. Jason usually takes his vitamins way before we even get up. Um, we use, we usually get our vitamins from Amazon um, and most of the stuff that we get from Amazon is um, highly rated. Um, so we get, these are Annie's vitamins, little critter organic and then the elderberry. And then I usually take the prenatals from Amazon because I'm breastfeeding Sawyer still. And then this one, the COQ10 is supposed to be good for your heart. So I take that. Me and Jason take vitamin C. He takes fish oil. He takes biotin. And then the Vitafusion men's vitamins as well. Those will be in the link below. Hey Annie, do you want to get ready? Sawyer, do you want to get dressed too? <gasps> now let's go outside. All right, so we're outside and we're about to play some t-ball with the kids and enjoy some sunshine. It's about 94 degrees out here um, and it's gonna be about 101 today, so it's not that bad. You're dribbling, Annie. <laughs> hey. Really? So, like, you have a batter's box right here. It's so yours. And then you step in, right and left to get in your stance, right? Do a little wiggle. You got the little wiggle. Just get comfortable. Look at the T. Line it up, right? <laughs> so here's. Right? Then you know what you do? You call your shot. There's no picture here, but you can see that. You just line it up. <laughs> See, you go like this, right? So you keep watching them here. And then you connect, right? Swing all the way looking at the ball, right? So you hit it. Alright? Step into the box. Awesome. Okay, right there. Do a little wiggle. Okay. Line it up. Line it up. Look, keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. Get in your stance. Call your shot moves. Boom. Okay, over the wall. Ready? Don't hit Sawyer's Sawyer. right in the way. Here we go to Sawyer's. Sawyer, come here. Come here, honey. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? <laughs> or, Annie, you can come up and just take the ball right from the teeth. And then what you, do, what you do is watch Sawyer. Oh, he's gonna put it back. Okay, good. Oh. Thank you, my Sawyer. Okay, sissy turn, okay. Sawyer. Come on. Oh. Whoa! This is 
is Sawyer's first time. Swing. Move out of the way, Annie. Are you, you gonna hit but get hit with you the got ball? Your stance. Call your shot, Sawyer. Call it out. Oh. Get, okay. One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa, Sawyer! Good job. You try. Okay. Get rank. Get. Yeah. Get. Get wild. Bam! Bam! Get wild. <laughs> what are you two doing? No. Is brother giving you a hug? What are you doing? Hi. All right, guys. I think it's time for lunch. down for a nap I am going to do my indoor workout but first I have to change my clothes so while I'm doing my indoor workout Annie is going to be playing with play-doh for my workout I use a five pound cowbell and five pound ankle weights see you in a little bit Now that my workout is done, I'm gonna go jump in the shower. I'll be right back. <laughs> Somebody just woke up from his nap. So now that Sawyer is awake, we are going to do some physical activity. And usually, we would go outside to the backyard and have Annie ride her bike. But since Jason's mom actually gave us a table, we took our old table and put it outside and we have no more room out there at the moment. So we decided to have her do her bike around the, the island of the kitchen. Let's see what happens. <laughs> go, go, she's gonna get you. She's gonna get you. Go, 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 Sawyer, go. So about a year ago, me and Ash set up questions to ask each other to keep our relationship fresh. And it's 
been so long just asking so many questions that we're literally on literally like additions. So now we're on Disneyland edition. We usually ask between five or 10 questions. Um, so first question, favorite land in Disneyland? Probably have to be um, New Orleans Square just because Haunted Mansion is mine. Which is? My favorite ride. Right. So I have to default because I love Star Wars and Star Tours is in Tomorrowland. Um, so yeah, that would be Tomorrowland. Least favorite ride in Disneyland. It's tough because I love Disneyland. So least favorite. I can't think of, I don't think of Disneyland as like a ride I don't want to ride necessarily. Mine would probably be because I had the most horrific child experience in it. Pirates of the Caribbean. I love Pirates. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, which she does not like to go on, um, but she will ride the Guardians of the Galaxy, and before that she rode Tower of Terror. Now listen to her response to why she does not like Pirates of the Caribbean, and then think about what the Tower of Terror does and Guardians of the Galaxy. Your okay. turn. Okay. In my defense, the first time I ever went to Disneyland, I was 13, okay? I went with my mom and my grandma for my 13th birthday. They took me on the ride, and before that, they didn't tell me anything. They told me, yes, it did have drops, but they were small, and it was fine. So I had no, like, idea what the ride was going to be like, okay? And this is before Pirates of the Caribbean, the movie, came out, right? As I'm not. Anyways, <laughs> so then... We, we went on the ride and my mom's like, oh, it's okay, we'll be on the bottom. Like, we'll be at the last, like, in the back. And no, no. The lady sat us in the front row. And I was like, okay, like, the anxiety built up, right? Then, we get to this area. After the drops, which were in pitch dark, and I hate the dark. So, number two, reason why I was scared crapless. Yeah, yeah, listen to what she said. In the dark, and, and doesn't like the dark. Think about the ride that I just told you, though. Anyway, Tower of Terror and Guardians. Anyway, keep going, keep going. The main reason why it scares the living poop out of me is because the characters look so freaking real. There's this one specific pirate that's on top of like a bridge or something, and he dangles over the boats that pass by. You know, like we go under that, we we'll go under it. Yeah, with the hanging, his hanging foot. He, he's like sitting, but his feet are like dangling over the bridge, and he has a bot, like a beer bottle in his hand, and he's like a drunk pirate. Yeah, yeah, bottle of rum. And he's like, he's going like this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy is real. It's gonna come into the boat. I can, I can die. actually understand that at that age. I'm I can, gonna I can die. That. Okay. You know. Okay. So mind you, at that point, and this is before you go into the like the battle scene with all the boats and stuff, then. As a 13 year old, you go into this big huge battle scene and you're like, okay, did I just go into Narnia or something? Like it's it's wide open. It literally looks like you're in a boat, like a bow in between two pirate ships fighting each other. Yeah. My yeah. imagination like became my worst enemy on that ride during that period of time. That's why I dislike it. Now I literally, slowly, as I got older, started liking some of it, but those are the main reasons why I don't like that ride. I will physically say, or watch kids, if adults want to go on. And, get the age part, but when you think about it, let's just go with Guardians, because that's what's at Disneyland currently. Guardians, in the dark. Two, Guardians, massive drops. I, I think it's, what, something like... Yes, but they're not all in the dark, because it opens up. Right. And the music around you is you so just... loud and it's... I love, I love, I love, exactly. I love... I like where your head's at. I love the way that they explain it, especially in Guardians, the Guardians ride. Now, the funny thing is, is I'll give Jason that credit. I don't understand why I don't like Pirates, but I love the Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror, but the story behind it, the weird, the creepy, that's just my thing. There you have it. <laughs> I'm weird. Yeah. Uh, well, it doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> now, I mean, the age, if you go Pirates of the Caribbean 13, Tower of Terror, 
at 13. Well, it's kind of like inside Makes out. Makes sense, but... but Jay, it's kind of like inside out. It's a core memory for me. Going on that right... Core memory down. going against it. Exactly. Exactly. Blame joy and all of them emotions. Inside, inside of her. Yeah. In, in the head. Yeah. Yep, that's what we're talking about. Mama. Well, on that note, we are going to give the kids a bath and mm -hmm. we'll get that time. to you in a couple of minutes. Any. <laughs> Sawyer to sleep in the living room and so after the kids are asleep we'll check back in. Now that the kids are asleep we are just going to sit back and watch a little bit of TV before going to bed mm -hmm. but before we do uh, Jason and I just wanted to go over the differences between our quarantine schedule and our normal schedule. Yes yeah, so our quarantine schedule is definitely different from our normal routine. Our normal routine we're out and about doing different things from you know, obviously hanging out with friends or family, going on trips, um, going to the park, going to the gym, to uh, the pool, and all sorts of different things around town and outside of town, that sort of thing. With quarantine, we've been, since March, we've been here. So everything from uh, Annie's speech, which was in person, is now teletherapy. Mm -hmm. uh, our gym is now an indoor gym schedule. So we used to go to the gym in person and do weights and cardio and drop the kids off and have a whole schedule doing that. Um, the third thing, swim, we would go twice a week. Annie and Sawyer were both in swim. Sawyer, Sawyer was in yeah, twice a week since he was five months old and then Annie since she was about one and a half or so. Um, and it's really the first time we've ever stopped and it was in March that we stopped. Um, and it's actually a company called Aquatots so this company is actually a world-renowned uh, mm -hmm. company for swim lessons, indoor. Which is good because we had Annie uh, in one that was outdoor and she, it was like the polar opposite, she hated it. Yeah, yeah, well because different weather, that kind of thing, but... Our schedule is pretty much the same, but size, we tweaked it a little bit to make it work and the kids don't seem to mind it a lot and I'm glad that Annie has Sawyer for sure because they do keep each other busy during the day. You know, I think like any, anybody else, we're just trying to get creative as far as what we're doing at the house. With that note, we're going to end the vlog here. Um, good night. And remember family, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell to become part of the family. Until then, have a family filled day and we'll talk to you in our next video. Mm -hmm.